Are you tired of the nine to five lifestyle? Do you want more freedom to do what you want, when you want it, without sacrificing your current income? Then this is the show for you. Every week, we dive into John's journey towards financial freedom and everything he has learned since 2014. Real estate investing, cryptocurrency, stocks, private lending, foreign residency, tax saving strategies, infinite banking, assets protection, and much more. Now, here is your host, the founder of the Wealth and Freedom Nexus, John Rickgarn. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on when you're listening to this. This is John Rickgarn, the host of the Wealth and Freedom Nexus podcast. We'll be doing a solo episode today, and actually this will be the first solo episode I have done since I did my trailer back on November 3rd. I really just kind of wanted to have a quick little recap as to 2021 with all the topics we've covered and what to expect moving on to 2022. Now, for the first few podcasts that have come out since the beginning of November, we have already covered a wide range of topics from self-directing your retirement accounts in episode six to build to rent uh, properties that are only for investors in episode two, as well as a turnkey provider in central Ohio, which you can listen to on episode four. And, you know, while Dave Ramsey probably won't agree, sorry, Dave, uh, we actually drived more into the whole life insurance uh, genre. Is it a scam? If it is a scam, why do the wealthy and so many members of the 1% use it? Why do banking institutes use it on their executives? You can turn, tune into episode three, where I interview my friend and mentor and my policy um, provider, Barry Brooksby. And we also covered a little bit on gold and silver, as well as other precious metals in episode five with Dana Samuelson, and how gold has really been a store of value, an inflation head, hedge, and true currency for over 5,000 years. Now, moving on to 2022, just for you know a few highlights, a few teasers, if you will, as to what you can expect. And give you more reasons to subscribe to the show, share with your friends, family, and other like-minded individual. And as always, be sure to hit the five-star review and leave leave a review. That would be greatly appreciated. In 2022, we will have none other than the founder of Get Rich Education, Keith Weinhold on. I can honestly say Keith's podcast is definitely one of my favorites. I have personally downloaded and listened to every single episode that he has released since 2014, uh, which ironically, while he started his podcast in 2014, 2014 was when I started my journey for financial freedom and have definitely learned so much from Keith over the years and have actually utilized uh, many of the techniques and strategies he shared. We also had a very similar uh, yet different start to our real estate investing journey. So be sure to subscribe and catch that episode when it uh, gets released. Moving on, we'll also be having some more tax experts as far as ways to save on taxes, defer taxes, mitigate taxes, and overall cut your tax bill. In fact, we're actually going to start off 2022 with a specialist that deals with cost segregation. This basically ties into depreciation and cost segregation, while not a secret per se, is not as widely known as a tax strategy for many. In fact, I've actually come across accountants and real estate agents that don't even know what cost segregation is. So basically, if you would like to save more on taxes and get a bigger refund in April every year, instead of paying money to Uncle Sam, you'll wanna listen into that. That's gonna be the first episode that gets released in 2022. Now, as many of you know, I am also a real estate agent in addition to a real estate investor. Um, I've helped a lot of first-time home buyers as well as some retiring couples that have wanted to downsize or maybe move closer to family as well as educated others that have wanted to start their investing journey. Now, unless you're going to pay all in cash, 
and I don't necessarily recommend it. A lot of us, including myself, are going to be using leverage and getting a mortgage to you know, purchase an investment property. So we'll be bringing on some uh, mortgage companies and experts in the field that can talk to more about the mortgage origination process. What should you look for? Uh, what's the difference between a lender that only services investors or primarily serves investors versus your, you know, say big name banks like a Wells Fargo or a Chase? And also go into a little bit more of the underwriting process. Uh, perhaps many of you have dealt with an underwriter. I myself have dealt with the underwriters numerous times and can personally share three, shall we just say, interesting stories of my dealings with underwriters. Uh, so I'm going to be bringing on a mortgage specialist that I've worked with and referred clients to that has a very streamlined underwriting process. And we'll be going more into how the underwriting process works, what one can be prepared for, what one should you know, have readily available, and just make the overall process for a, applying and getting approved for the mortgage for your property, just to make that go a little bit smoother and hopefully faster. Uh, towards the end of a real estate purchase, whether again, it's a primary home or investment home, typically we'll deal with a title and abstract company. And, you know, what is a title and abstract company? What's a title? Uh, what's an abstract? What are torrents? Is a title company really needed? Is title insurance really needed? Or a title opinion? Is that sufficient enough for when purchasing a property? I'm going to be bringing on a good friend that I've known for many years here in Marshall to really talk about and do a deep dive into the title and abstract industry and what he has learned um, since he purchased a title and abstract company and has been helping hundreds of clients throughout the area. And finally, if any of you have purchased a property or refinanced a property even, one of the funnest parts of the process, and yes, I'm saying this with a bit of sarcasm, is the appraisal. Yes, the appraisal that basically gives the stamp of approval that your property is worth X number of dollars. Now, you may feel the property is worth $200,000. The seller may think it's worth $200,000. The bank may say, yep, this is worth $200,000. Zillow, Realtor, Redfin, all those online platforms say, yep, the estimate for this is $200,000. But the appraiser might say, Nope, sorry. This is only worth about 180000 And that can really, really screw up the whole process of purchasing the home. Uh, when it's not appraised for that, do you bring more cash to the table? Do you go to the seller for some concessions? Do you contest the appraisal? Can you attest the appraisal? If you can, what are the steps? Well, the bank will let you do that. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to be bringing on an appraiser as well to talk about that process, you know, how it all works, uh, what you can do to also make the process go smoother, and maybe just a few little tips and tricks in the industry to maybe, well, I don't want to say guarantee that the property will appraise for a said value, but just give you a little bit better chance and better assurance that it will. Now, if you've been listening from the beginning, uh, I hope you remember Rachel from ECI Development. She will be coming, joining us again to talk about another investment that ECI offers. It's an investment that I invest in as well. It was a, another investment outside of the United States that I partook in uh, this last summer in 2021. Well, I'll just give you a hint. Um, this particular asset uh, has been purchased and owned by the wealthy and numerous pension funds throughout the U.S. and actually throughout the world. So this is an asset that's been around for decades and is a very, shall we say, hard asset. So I will just leave it at that. And hopefully that just uh, encourages you to subscribe and make sure that you join us for that episode when Rachel uh, comes back on the show. Uh, we'll also be looking at more of international diversification, your assets, your uh, properties, your business, your life, essentially. I will be bringing on Global Wealth Protections, Bobby Casey, 
as well as the host of the Expat Money Show, Mikel Thora. Both were our experts and have really developed a huge, huge network of attorneys and accountants and uh, tax strategists uh, all throughout the world that can really help do a deep dive into everyone's portfolio to really uh, secure and make sure that that asset or assets, I should say, are protected from the so-called creditors and predators. You've worked hard for your money. You've worked hard to build up your assets. The last thing you want is a drive-by attorney or disgruntled IRS employee or a politician that decides that they want to take that away from you. And finally, one last teaser, I'm going to bring on a few guests that I myself have invested with. One, I started investing in 2020, and the other one I will be investing through very shortly um, at the time of this recording. Specifically, these are alternative investments in the agricultural space, specifically coffee and oranges. I know, kind of boring, but did you know that coffee is the second most traded commodity worldwide? after oil, and that Christopher Columbus is believed to have brought the first orange seeds to the new world way back in 1493. So just some interesting uh, tidbits on coffee and oranges, and we'll be doing deep dives into both of those and why they might be a suitable investment for your portfolio. And those are just kind of the highlights. Um, have many others that are in the pipeline. Uh, some I'm still working on coordinating schedules to put together the uh, production and recording, obviously, the episodes. I already have a few queued up through uh, early March. So definitely want to make sure that you hit subscribe on your favorite podcast platform, be it Spotify, iTunes, uh, Stitcher, iHeartRadio or even YouTube and growing my YouTube channel as well. So if that's your preferred medium of choice. Be sure to go to my YouTube channel and hit subscribe is there as well there. And finally, just wanted to say to all of you, thank you for your support, your kind words of encouragement, uh, your questions even. It gives me a good idea of what to you know, bring on the show, uh, some other experts to bring on the show, and some that are even interested in being interviewed from text messages to emails to Facebook messages. Um, I do read them all. I, you know, thank you for all that words of encouragement as well as advice and wisdom and even just kind of the overall networking. I have networked with individuals uh, throughout the U.S. to Panama, to Belize, to Brazil, to Colombia, to Israel, uh, just too many to name off the top of my head. So again, thank you for everyone in the community that has supported me on my journey when I launched the Wealth and Freedom Nexus website in January of 2020. And maybe one final note, also thank you to all the podcasters that have invited me to be on their show uh, to be interviewed and share my story. Uh, starting with Whitney Sewell's podcast back in May of 2020 and all the other ones that I have been brought on as a guest through uh, 2021. Uh, if you go to the show notes of this podcast, you can click on the links to all those podcasts that I have been interviewed on. And also there are a few more in the works for 2022. So again, just wanted to say thank you to all of you for joining me on this journey. I hope you've, you know, learn something, got in some great tidbits to start your investment journey, your journey towards financial freedom, as I think all of us are seeking wealth and freedom and overall a life without limits. Thanks again and take care. Thank you for listening. Be sure to share, rate, review, and subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. For more updates, check out www.wealthandfreedomnexus.com. Remember, nothing on this show should be considered tax, legal, investment, or professional advice. This show is produced solely for educational and informational purposes. Please consult an appropriate and licensed tax, legal, real estate, or business professional for specific advice for your situation. For distribution or publication rights, or media interviews, please contact the host.